Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be looking at a Paula Young wig and it's a fairly new wig. Her name is Harper and this is what she looks like in the color 5660 number 1B. So stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Coco and this is Coco's Hair Solutions. We are going to be looking at this young lady. Her name is Harper and she's going to be in a, a silver gray color with dark roots. And that is Angel's Wing Rooted, I believe it is, is what I ordered it. So here's all of her numbers. So you can see what, what I ordered and what I got. And I am going to open her up. I haven't looked at her yet, but I'm hoping she looks really nice. We'll see. Okay, well, it looks like Harper is meant to be a loose, wavy, shoulder length kind of a bob, with, and she comes with bangs. And um, I can tell she's a little on the shiny side, so we might need to use some um, spray shampoo, some uh, uh, dry shampoo on her. But let's look at her cap construction first, all right? All right, so what we have is a completely closed lace top crown and front. We have a half inch velveteen band across the front hairline for comfort. And so this closed area means that we have a little bit of permatease up there. So now I can feel it. It's, it's at the base of the cap, but it's not real heavy duty. So it can, might be manageable. You know, you might be able to make it smooth it out a little bit um, to your liking if you don't really care for that uh, permatease look. And then what we have are closed ear tabs with fibers stitched on the underside so that when they come out right by your temple, it looks natural. We happen to have Velcro adjusters on both the right and left of the nape so that you can adjust it. And then we have an extended velveteen closed nape. So that adds a little bit more comfort to keeping that down along your neckline, especially with the longer hair fibers. It protects the fibers from rubbing against your neck a lot. And then of course, real stretchy open wefts everywhere. Okay, now I can already tell, can you tell? We've got some box hair with some wild crazy girls up here. We'll just have to see what they look like before we uh, put her on. Um, let's see, I'll look over her dimensions after I do put her on, and, but I do want to activate that permatease, wake up those fibers from being boxed and I don't know, let's leave, let's leave the sides unfettered so that we can see what those curls are supposed to be like, okay? We can brush through them and soften those curls up or we can spray them with water and get, them, get more definition back into them. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see what this is gonna look like. I think we can make her work. And it is Angel's Wing because I can see a little bit of the darkness. Angel's Wing Rooted has a little bit of brown, black mixed in very lightly with the white um, of, of the 5660. And um, that makes it a softer, warmer color than, say, the Silvery Moon. Silvery Moon is always going to be a little bit more whitish, uh, the black whitish, uh, blue white, um, where um, Angel's Wing is going to probably be a little softer. Um, a little bit warmer white with those colors. But she does have that rooting, so that, that does uh, add another dimension. Okay, before I put her on, what I have on right now is my Jacqueline Smith Chris in the color uh, Caramelized Brown Rooted, another one of my very favorite styles and colors. So let's go ahead and get Harper on. Okay, this is Harper. Okay, well, she's got a little wispy bang, and this kind of happened just as I pulled up, but you can tell she is kind of a unstructured, tapered, not a blunt cut, because I can see some layering right here, can't you? Let's do a spin real quick and then we'll look at her dimensions, okay? So she covers my neck really well. All right. She doesn't have a whole lot of movement, but that's okay. She's very lightweight. 
So let's go ahead and take a look at her dimensions, okay? Alrighty, Harper. She's three and a half ounces in weight, and she uh, is seven and a half inches in the front. So that, that's got to be not this area here, but this. This has got to be seven and a half inches. The top is nine and a half inches. So it's not far from that, nine and a half inches. And then the crown is nine and a half as, as well. So this all up here is gonna be nine and a half inches. The sides, the upper back are all eight and a half inches. And then the nape is five and a half inches. She only comes in six colors and that's the rooted colors of the Euro collection. So that's why she's in the angels rooted right now. They used to have, the Euro collection used to have it, <clears throat> it was called Royal Silver. And I don't know what's happened to that now, but they don't call it Royal Silver anymore. They call it Angel's Wing Rooted. So I'm gonna try this. Get these little bangs to behave. Got little baby bangs, aren't they? Well, that's the beginning. And of course, if we wanted to look like the picture, you know, we've got these little baby bangs right here. And then let's see, she parts on the left and goes to the right. So that's where she wanted to go originally. And let's see if we can make her look a little bit like the picture. I think I'll try combing through the rest of the hair and then I'll spray it just to see what kind of dimension we've got, what kind of styling. Okay, so I think this is looking like the picture. I could easily, personally I could, let's see the, the wig cap is black. So I could bring it behind my ears, even leave a little bit forward. Okay. She's got that layered kind of a bob look, doesn't she? And of course, it, it could look almost like a beachy wave, couldn't it? And, um, but she comes with a little bang, which is nice. So what can we do with her? Let's try a couple different looks. Okay, here's one look with a couple of barrettes on both sides. Hold back that hair that wants to come into my face. A half up, half down with a single clip in the back. I can tease a little bit up above my cheeks to raise the layers and give me an overall more curly look and tease the back so that makes it look fuller up here. Or I could get a full half up, half down, leaving tendrils all the way around. So let's try a little bit of water. See what that does to her. We'll just get these curls kind of damp. I know it's going to separate them and give them more dimension. And that might be kind of a cute look. And of course, that's how you would reestablish all those little curls that, that were there before we brushed her. So the brushing makes her, um, her have be a little more wavy, and then adding water makes the texture of the curls come back. So let's see what this does. And I noticed I've had a ton of shedding. I am so sorry. Ah! Should not have worn black with this girl. <laughs> anyway, so let's see. We'll begin with kind of a medium amount of 
water. And actually, I kind of like this, this look a little bit more. And of course, we didn't try parting her, but let me do a spin for you with just the, the water and the definition of the curls. Does that look good? Yeah, she, she doesn't, like I said, she doesn't have a lot of movement, but, but she's there, you know, and she's got your fullness. And I don't think you'd have to worry about the wind blowing her off either. Let's try the part on the other side just to see what happens. So it raises up. It raises up the top a little bit because she wasn't prepped like that from the factory. So we're going against the way that the fi fibers were laid down at the factory and pressed. So that's going to give you a little more height. And also it adds a little more layering that brings that layering up past this point where all the layering was right here. So now it's up here a little bit. And I think that actually is a little more attractive. And of course you want to try and spread that height all throughout the whole wig. So this is not too bad. Not really. So, you know, if you're looking for this kind of an unstructured uh, look, this is a great little wig. But remember, she only comes in the six colors of the Euro line. So I think Harper is going to look good just making uh, taking advantage of the curls that she has and of course if you don't mind the extra layers you just need to work with them and that's it of course she comes with this tiny baby bang and uh, it's a perfect accent so depending on what you're looking for she comes in six colors so there she is this is harper part of the euro collection from paula young thank you so much for joining me today it's been a pleasure and I will see you next time in Coco's Hair Solutions. Bye-bye.